Hello friends, welcome to UMT 3D Teacher Tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to create basic timer system in UMT 3D. So, most most games have every game basically have. For example, if you have casual or arcade, every game have some basic timer system. So, I'm going to show how to create basic timer system for your games. To create this, just create one sample script timer system. You can have any name which you like. So, to create a timer, I'm just declaring one variable called private. It should be having float because we need to if we, we need to calculate the every seconds we should have to be float. Don't go for it. Float timer van like that. I'm just creating one sample variable and then we need to get that timer system using time dot delta time. So similar uh, so what is the time dot delta time is is nothing but it will run for every frame so we are going to use that system to get the timer for our game so I used the timer on delta time and reducing the time from the total amount of time for example I am giving 10 seconds so let's see how the output works print test plus timer value I'm sorry Just drag the script here to any main camera on any other place which you like to place and then hit play. Let's see in debug. Yeah. If you see the year it will be what kind, what you need. So we are going to apply in text create UI and then create text so this is the text just make it center and I change something colors I have green make it bold and then if you like to call the UI system you should have namespace so I'm going to have add that dot ui so and then create variable called public text display and then display dot text equal to double quotes and then just get that that's it we don't need the print statement before that you need to drag drag and drop your text UA here. Let's see the output. There you go. I'm sorry a little bit. There is a problem in color. I'm just changing to something which is this for you. Yeah. So if you hit play, you can see the timer is running nine eight seven six five seconds. So we we don't like to show everything. We need only one or two decimals. So I'm going to show you how to remove decimal points. Just convert to string and then just apply zero with that so if you see you play you can see only one string yeah 10 9 8 sound it will run like that for example if you like to have two string output from your floating point you can use two zeros here so that you get two outputs 0 9 0 8 0 sound depend upon your game you can have this so this is the best system for example or if you need only the decimal point you can remove the, this system 0 0 here 
just place it empty and hit play. So this is the best system. So in this way you can apply the timer system for your games. So this is the best thing. I'm sorry it will going negative. I think we can stop going negative. We are going to stop the timer if it go below zero. So what we need to do is just get that time is lesser than zero. Make it the output as time over. Default. If it goes zero and make it this as zero. That's it. That's it. Output. If it go to below zero, I'm sorry. I'm just about to remove time. Time more from here. Is it? Yeah. If it go to zero, it will stop. Let's see how it's work. Yeah. It's time over. So this is the system we can use for every game for our games for if you have a upgrade or multiplayer. It should work with everything. This is the basic timer system you can have with us. So if you think my video is very helpful for you, please subscribe us. I'll put the script below the description so that you can grab it and use it for your projects. Thanks for watching and please subscribe us.